Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video I will show you how to create this cool card hover text reveal effect with HTML and CSS. So, when we hover over the card you can see the text content get shown. Here we have a title. A line which I'll show you how to create it. A paragraph with some text. And a good looking button. You can also see when we hover over the card the background image gets bigger and blurry which gives it a cool effect. If you're interested to know how to create this cool card hover text reveal effect make sure to watch the video until the end. Before we continue with the HTML. If you're lazy to type all this code by yourself then you can copy it since I provided the source code in the video description. So. For the HTML first create a container div, and inside this container we'll add another div with the class of card. Next add an image element. Let me show you the image that we'll use. This is the image that we'll use. Of course you can use your own image. You can see right now the image is too large but we'll fix it later. After the image let's create another div with the class of content. Inside here let's create an h2 which will be the content title. After that let's create a div with the class of line. This will be the line below the title we saw in the beginning. Next let's create a paragraph and add some warm dummy text. And lastly let's create a button and add some text to it. I'll just add subscribe. You can see the content down here. Let's jump to CSS. I already added some basic styling such as remove the margin, padding to all elements. Added a box sizing to border box and changed the font to Montserrat. I used CSS grid to center everything and added a light gray background color. Next let's select the card and give it a width of 300 pixel and a height of 400 pixel. A border radius of 1 rem. An overflow of hidden so it removes the content that overflows. And a position of absolute since the content will be positioned relative. After that select the image and give it a width and height of 100%. An object fit of cover so it removes the stretch and also a transition for the transform and filter properties. After that select content diff. It will be positioned absolute. A top of 60%. You can see it here. A transform translate Y of minus 50%. This RGBA background color. A padding of two rim for top and bottom and one rim for left and right. A white color. Align text to the right. And a transition to the transform property. So, as default the content will be outside of the card. This is the x-axis, and this is the y-axis.
If we add 100% you can see it goes all outside. And when we hover we want it to go to zero. But for now let's leave it as zero so we can see how we're styling it. Next select the H2 and give it a text shadow so we can see it better. Now let's select the line. Give it a width of 70 pixel, a height of 5 pixel and a white background color. Let's also add some margin. One rim for the top, zero for the right. One rim for the bottom and auto for the left. This will push the line to the right side. Let's select the paragraph. Give it a font size of 0.9 rem. A text shadow. And a margin bottom of 1 rem. After that let's select the button and add some stylings to make it more beautiful. Just like that. Next let's give the button a hover effect. When we hover over the button we want to change the background color and the text color. Just like that. So. As I said before the transform X will be 100% to the content as default. But when we hover over the card we want to add a transform X of 0 to it. So it comes to view. When we hover you can see the content. Awesome. Now. Also when we hover over the card we want to scale up the image and add some blur to it. Alright, and this should work. You can see when we hover the image gets blurry. So, that's basically all for this tutorial. If you enjoyed it make sure to click the subscribe button since I upload content every day in this channel. Thank you and see you next time.